I'm Fernando Fernandez from Fern TV, and we're here at the Hot Docs Film Festival, and we're gonna go to an interview with director Petter Ringbaum of the film Shield and Spear. So tell us, uh, what made you become interested in, in, in South Africa, and of course the inspiration for this film, uh, Shield and Spear? Right. So I met um, Sandra Ferreira, who's in the film. He, his, his character is Gazelle, or his band. Um, he. Um, we became friends in in New York because he had won a green card lottery, and through conversations with him, um, I got really curious about what was going on in the country and uh, curious about the the art and music scene over there. Um, in that process, the events around the painting the spear, which is a kind of a, a big part of the film, that happened. And you know, I read about it in the New York Times, mm -hmm. and I felt like that. When that happened, I kind of found my story and set out to make the film. Mm -hmm. Now, the music is very important uh, to the film. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us about the, the whole process of actually uh, picking uh, some of the artists? And mm -hmm. of course, uh, can you comment on the soundtrack of the film? Yes. I mean, I cast, I, I cast a pretty wide net. So I've, I've met and shot and interviewed many more people than are actually in the film. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the prerequisite from, is that I like the music. Yes. <laughs> Very interesting character and, and the, they have something to say. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily a film where, where we you know, are exploring the craft of making music. What we're much more concerned with is what they say and what they, you know, what they project with their mm -hmm. music. Um, and it's, and it's, a, it's, a pretty, it's an interesting mix from Absolutely, you know, an Afrikaans yeah. punk band mm -hmm. to a pretty political, you know, I don't know what you would describe your music, but I guess funky African music mm -hmm. in sort of uh, from Johannesburg. And, you know, Xander, who's, um, I don't know how you would describe his music either, but <laughs> it, it is an interesting mix. And I think that what the soundtrack does and what all the characters do is that they combine paint to portrait of, of the country and what's mm -hmm. going on there. Mm -hmm. um, tell us the, the sort of climate and the, the the now status of post-apartheid in South Africa, and you were filming there, of course, and then right. uh, can you explain the whole feeling? Um, in, yeah. In that, in that part? <laughs> yeah. I would say that it, politically, because um, I separate the creatively and politically, creatively, I think it's an incredibly fascinating place, and mm -hmm. there's so much exciting stuff going on there. Right. It's kind of an explosion of, of, of things. Politically, it's, it's, it's in, a little depressing. I mean, it, it's it's disillusionment and disappointment mm -hmm. of what has become of the leadership that was at one point. Freedom fighters are now essentially taking advantage of, of their their new position and robbing the country of resources and money, you know, through corruption. How does it feel to be here at uh, <laughs> Hot Docs? It feels great. Yeah, I wish it was a little warmer here. In Toronto, <laughs> but it's great. No, we're having a good time. It's busy days of meetings and you know press and what have you, and it's great. How does uh, what kind of message do you want uh, your film to relate to the viewers of Sh Shield and Spirit? Well, I, I hope um, that whoever watches it, whether you're South African or Canadian or American, what have you, first that you learn something about what's happening now. Absolutely. Because it, yeah. what it is is that we're we're showing a different side of South Africa that people don't usually get to see. Right. We're, we have a, you know, we're, we're staying away from the sort of typical African right. <laughs> pic depiction. Um, I, ideally, I would like also that for people that are, you know, believe in, that belong in a specific cultural subset to get to see a different part of their country, if right. you're South African. Right. Because it is a very segregated society. And I also think that, you know, anyone... Um, can learn something from the incredible passion and the commitment that the characters in the film have mm -hmm. towards their community and towards 
you know, the, the Africa, South African society. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And I uh, hope uh, Shield and Spirit does well here at Hot Talks. And too. Uh, talk to us again for any uh, upcoming projects. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.